Welcome to Robert Kiyosaki's The Business of the 21st Century. Robert Kiyosaki is recognized internationally as one of today's leading financial experts. The author of the best-selling Rich Dad, Poor Dad, his books have been translated into 51 languages in 109 countries and sold more than 28 million copies worldwide. Robert has spent his life educating people on how to attain financial freedom. Now, through this special video presentation, he explains why network marketing is indeed the business of the 21st century and how you can take advantage of its opportunities to create the life you desire. Next thing I want to cover with you is one of the most important lessons my rich dad gave me, and it was called the cash flow quadrant. And what my rich dad explained to me is that there's four people in business. One is our one are E's, employees. S stands for small business, self-employed or specialist. B stands for big business, and I stands for investor. And the thing of note here is that most people who go to school are programmed for the E and the S side. For example, it was my poor dad who always said to me, son, go to school so you can get a nice, safe, secure job. And so my poor dad wanted me to be an employee. And since the time I was a kid, get a safe, secure job, steady paycheck, and benefits. Okay? I didn't want to be an employee. And I said, Mama, and Mom and Dad, I want to be a rich man. And my, I fight with my dad. So my mother finally said, son, if you want to be rich, my mother was a registered nurse. And she said, if you want to be rich, the richest people I know are doctors. So my mom wanted me to come over here, be a specialist or a small business person. I said, there's only one problem with that, mom. Doctors are really smart. And she says, you got a good point there. I'm not going to be a doctor. So I, you know, so I went to school. I have a Bachelor of Science degree. I can drive ships and I can fly planes. I flew for the Marine Corps. But that I've never used any of that education because I wanted to become a business owner. So it was my rich dad who basically said to me, you know, become a business owner and learn to be a professional investor. So one of the big differences here between these people is that it's called taxes. See, in 1943, in the U.S., the federal government passed a law that said employees had to pay tax before they got paid. So when you, go to your, when you get your paycheck from your employer, you open it up, and voila, the government's always taken a sizable chunk of it. And the harder you work and the more money you make, the more money they take from you. So that's why it's not that good to be an employee, because you can never get ahead, because the more you work, the more money you make, the greater they pay in taxes. Now, the, the doctors, the lawyers, and attorneys, you know, accountants were all laughing, saying, oh, these guys... They got, you know, they're getting paying a lot of taxes. So naturally, the federal government changed the laws again. So in 1986 in the U.S., a thing called the 86 Tax Reform Act, and it basically basically took a lot of the benefits away from people who are self-employed, small business doctors and lawyers. So today in America, unfortunately, these guys pay the highest percentage in taxes. It is tragic, and a lot of people think they're investors, but what they're really doing is they're just giving their money to people like mutual funds, companies, and all that. So they're not, they're investing, but they're not really investors. See, the big tax breaks are on this side. You know, the laws are pretty tight here, but this area is very, very great. So by being a business owner on, on the right-hand side of the quadrant, you can make a lot more money and pay a smaller percentage of taxes legally. And the key word is legally. In the investor quadrant, it is possible to make millions of dollars and pay 0% taxes legally. But you've got to know the difference. So one of the beauties of business for the 21st century is it allows people to make the transition from the E and the S side to the B side, especially. And so you can become a big business owner. And the difference between an S and a B, small business and big business, is most of these guys can't quit working. Most small business owners, if they stop working for more than a month, the business collapses. You know, they don't really have a business. Most of these people own a job. So the beauty of business for the 21st century, it allows these people to make the transition to the B side so that you don't have to keep working hard for money and the money can actually come in passively. Then once you have your business up and running, then I always recommend you then begin investing with your excess cash, paying less and less in taxes. And that's the reason the rich are getting richer.